David, we are so excited to have you here today. We're just going to go straight right into it, okay, David? All right. So what is your background? Who are you and why did you start the company LifeWaves? Okay, so my background. Uh, I went to college uh, and to get a degree in management, uh, biology, and computer science. And when I got out, um, I was doing research and development into different types of medical devices. So these would be class two medical devices. And I, I did this for a few years and it gave me a really good education into what it was like to be in an environment of developing product. Uh, I then went on to have uh, several companies of my own. And I moved to, I was living in um, New York, New Jersey area where I grew up. And I moved down to the Atlanta, Georgia area uh, when I was in my 30s. When I moved down there, it was to open up a computer business. I wanted to stay in touch with inventing, so I joined a inventors club. Developed a number of, of pretty interesting things, uh, new types of uh, batteries and fuel cells. And I got a, approached by a group of guys that uh, wanted to see if we could commercialize some of the technologies that I had developed. So we got together because of their contacts. We started to develop new technologies for the United States Navy through government contractors. And I was invited to, after a few years, I was invited into a project where the Navy was creating a mini sub. For the US Navy, a mini submarine is about 60 feet long. Uh, and it attaches to a nuclear missile uh, carrying sub. And, uh, the crew of the mini sub were Navy SEALs and they were going on really long missions. So I had, in, had invented something that was considered by General Dynamics to be impossible. It was a new type of oxygen supply. And so they said, hey, we're, uh, the guy that was the, the head of this project said, hey, um, I really like that you're an out of the box thinker. This is a mini sub we're doing. Uh, could you see if you can make a contribution to it? So I thought, well, these guys are going on missions that are 30 hours, 60 hours long. They have to stay awake. Maybe there's a better way that we could keep them awake instead of putting them on caffeine or amphetamines. That's when I began to think about, well, what if, if we tapped into the way that the body naturally makes energy? Is, is it possible that we could have some type of wireless communication device that would cause the cells of the body to make energy? And this was the uh, very, very beginnings of LifeWave and the energy patches. And of course, uh, you know, the way that this turned out was I found a way uh, to use specific combinations of light to activate the mitochondria in the cell to increase fat burning. And this has been the basis for how all the LifeWave patches work. And over the years, uh, especially recently, the technology has become uh, very sophisticated and how we target different regions of the mitochondria produce some really incredible effects when it comes to uh, regeneration, longevity, and even age reversal. Would you say that was your inspiration to create all this technology? Did it start from there, or did you have another inspiration for all this technology? Well, that, <laughs> that's a much longer story. It actually <laughs> started many, many years before that. Uh, I was going to graduate school at Pace University, I was working towards a graduate degree at Pace University. I approached the chairman of the biology department because I had an idea about how to selectively destroy cancer cells. And if you were to see a healthy cell, let's say it, it's got a big electrical charge around it and a cancer cell is smaller and has a smaller electrical charge around it. And I, I found a way using basically electricity and magnetism to target cancer cells without harming healthy cells. And I was working with two different tumor lines that were neuroblastomas. And I did this in conjunction with the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. But anyway, that had set, that had set me on this early course uh, when I was in my 20s of looking at the body much more as a bioelectrical or biomagnetic organism. And we should be looking at health as uh, we need our foundation of water, proper nutrition, and exercise, but we don't have to rely on drugs for, uh, for healing. We should be looking at the 
electrical and magnetic properties of the body and working with that to get optimum health. So the, the body works on the basis of light. What, what's so interesting about this is that for thousands of years in cultures all over the world, it has been recognized that we are light beings, that we are much, much more than a physical body. And, and, and actually, our physical bodies are the least important aspect of really who we are as human beings. The spiritual component is by far the most important component. And that's why spiritual healing is so powerful. And people that are legitimate spiritual healers, it's, it's far superior to any type of, of medicine. But when we recognize, you know, the true identity of what human beings and, and the world around us really is, we recognize that, and, and in biological terms, it's light that's governing our very existence. Uh, one of the, the premier researchers in this field was Fritz Pop, and he was uh, the first one to actually document that human beings, animals, even plants are emitting light. So the age that we're living in now is that we finally have the tools and uh, the resources that we need to develop uh, technologies based on light that can heal the body in very, very powerful ways. So that, that's the path that I see going forward. Light therapy will become a bigger and bigger part of how we heal. Tell us, what is your 15-year journey in building your company, David, with this light therapy technology? Yeah, so actually it's it's really pushing closer to 20 years. <laughs> you think about it was several years to develop the technology, then it was another two years to try to figure out how to manufacture it and to, uh, and to put together clinical studies to support what it was that it was doing. And then we launched the network in 2004. And so then, of course, we celebrated our 15-year anniversary at market with this last year. But this is, uh, Peter, this has been an amazing journey because when we started, it was just simply about let's give people a way to improve their energy without having to use drugs. Then as the products developed, it was let's give people some anti-aging products, things that are going to reduce stress, detoxify the body, and protect the body so we can have a healthier future. But over the past 10, 12 years, my focus has really been more on regeneration, longevity, and age reversal. Because the biological mechanisms now for doing all of this is, is being accepted and well understood. So what this means is that X39, we can talk about this a little bit later, but X39 is the beginning of our entry into stem cells and regeneration, and it's not the end. It's, it's the very beginning of the story, and the future and the path that's taken us here is, is leading us to a place where lifespan is going to reach levels that you know used to be considered science fiction, uh, but, but it's becoming real in the laboratory today. Uh, actually, that will actually lead us to our next question is, how did you come up with this X39 stem cell activation technology and how long did it take for you to perfect it? Yeah, it certainly didn't happen overnight. It was about a 10 year journey. And actually when I started, uh, I was trying to find a way to activate stem cells with electromagnetism. And I hold about 70 patents in this area today. So there was quite a bit of technology that came out of this research. We spent just over $4 million uh, over that period of time developing this. Uh, but essentially what we learned how to do was create these devices that with a combination of what's called an electromagnetic field and a longitudinal field, influence the activity of the stem cells in the body and get the stem cells to function as if an injection of stem cells had been given. So we had worked with uh, the National University of Ireland on this. Their uh, research center on the west coast of Ireland is in the top 2% of research centers globally when it comes to stem cells. So we got this research collaboration with NUIG. We got a research grant from the uh, government of Ireland called Scientific Foundation Ireland. 
and we began doing this research. We did our basic cell culture studies, we did animal studies, and then human studies. But we found with this technique, I'll give you one example, we took 30 people, and each one of the, these people, they had a diabetic or idiopathic neuropathy, meaning that the nerves in their feet were destroyed and they were developing uh, neuropathic symptoms, they were in pain, and they were at risk for amputation. We were able to, in a eight-week period of time, regenerate the nerves in their feet and reverse their diabetic neuropathy. And there's no drug or therapy in the world today that will do that, but we figured out how to do it. That really led to the development of, of this understanding that we can use energy, and bear in mind, light is high frequency electromagnetic energy. We can use electromagnetic energy to influence the stem cells without having to give a stem cell injection. I mean, this technology, David, I mean, for all of us, it just seems like so far out, but we cannot believe <laughs> today, I mean, the science is here. Can you tell us a little bit more what is behind the science of the X39? Yeah, that in and of itself is, is so interesting because our bodies are actually designed to be powered by light. Now, we often think of sunlight as causing our bodies to make vitamin D, and that's absolutely true. But it's only a very, very small part of the, of, of the picture. About 10 or 15 years ago, it was discovered that when you put uh, specific types of light on the skin, and it could be infrared light, which we can't see, or visible light, that it will cause real chemical changes in the cells. And for those uh, doctors that are out there or th those people that are curious, uh, it causes an increase. Light will cause an increase in an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase. And what's important about this and what's so telling uh, that we're beings of light is that this is a component of what's called the electron transport chain in the cell. And this is how our bodies convert food to energy. So what this literally means is that our bodies can absorb light and respond in such a way to turn that light into additional energy. So with LifeWave technology, what I found that we could do is uh, take a combination of different types of organic materials, process them to form crystals, and have these crystals engineered so they will uh, reflect different wavelengths of light. When you put the patch on, these wavelengths of light stimulate the skin. They'll upregulate the mitochondrial energy production, and they'll also without, I'm trying not to get overly complicated with this, basically the, the patches will stimulate the skin with light and change the metabolism in such a way so that we can cause the synthesis of uh, specific signaling molecules, peptides, that will, that will cause a desired reaction. So in the case of X39, we use the patch to stimulate the skin with light. This causes an increase in the peptide uh, GHK, and then this regulates stem cell activity in the body. That's the light version of it, so to speak. There's, it's way more detailed than that. So, Well, David, I mean, we've been building our business here because we've been keeping it so simple. When people hear about light therapy, photobiomodulation, this technology now, we cannot believe that we hold this in your, our hands because of you. And, and I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future. And, it's, it's exciting. We had a uh, leadership call today where myself and, and uh, Jim Caldwell, we were speaking with the leaders and giving them a little bit of a glimpse into what's coming into the future. And, you know, the most about what I could say, again, is that X39 is the beginning of the story, not the end. There are, are more products in our future that will lead to better ways to heal and regenerate. And again, you know, my ultimate goal is I personally don't want to age and I would like to be younger and I would like to be able to, you know, share those gifts 
with, uh, with our members. All the research that we're doing is indicating not only is this uh, possible, but it's, it's totally achievable. We, we see these effects in human beings. You know, it's uh, great, you know, when you can share a picture of your CEO that is the product of the product, and I get a lot of compliments from you because they're like, oh, you're, your CEO looks pretty young. That means the product must work. I'm like, I hope so. <laughs> he I, I appreciate that. You know, I turned 57 in uh, April. You know, one of the, the blessings out of this pandemic is I've been locked in a house where I built a gym, and I've got a lot of protein. <laughs> so I... Uh, I would say that I'm in, based on the numbers, I'm in better physical shape today than I, I was in my 20s, speaking athletically. And I know that the patches have played a huge role in that. Can you give us uh, a, 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 maybe a list of what issues that you can say that X39 can really help with? What are just some of the uh, issues? Yeah, so that that's a little bit of a tricky question to answer because, you know, we can't make any medical claims. And we're a general wellness product in terms of the FDA. So if we look at what do we claim the uh, X39 patch does, it's going to activate stem cells. That's kind of like the core of what it does. Uh, if we dig a little bit deeper with that, X39 is designed to elevate copper peptide, and it does this through increasing the way the mitochondria produces energy. So that then would lead you to say first thing is a big, big problem that people have as they age is mitochondrial dysfunction. And that means so people are slowing down, they feel tired, more fatigued. And that's going to be a big problem that X39 is going to help to alleviate. Now, interestingly, uh, the process of healing uh, is intimately connected with the quality of sleep. We had a clinical study that was done uh, by Dr. Melinda Connor. We've done blood studies and also urine studies. And one of the interesting things that comes up is that X39 also improves the quality of sleep. So people that are having a problem sleeping will benefit, and this is because X39 will elevate production of something in the brain called GABA. Another thing that happens is copper peptide, when it's elevated with X39, copper peptide, its most powerful attribute is that it's able to modulate gene expression and reset about a third of the genome back to a younger state. And uh, one of the things that occurs is that this helps to manage inflammation. And uh, if we look at, uh, you know, we could do an entire webinar on, on just why is it that people age and so how can we reverse aging or prevent it. But inflammation has a lot to do with this problem. As people age, their ability to manage inflammation declines. And so X39 will help that. So obviously, you know, people that are suffering with some type of chronic pain can benefit from X39. Uh, another thing that happens is X39 will increase production of the intracellular antioxidant glutathione, which is the body's master antioxidant. And it increases it by levels of between about 30 and 40%. Again, we've, we've seen this in our urine testing. Uh, advantage to this is that the age of the cell is intimately linked to the body's levels of glutathione. And glutathione normally declines with age. Glutathione is also neuroprotective, meaning when uh, people develop Parkinson's disease, it's actually from a deficiency of glutathione. So one thing that we want to be concerned about is we want to keep our glutathione levels elevated because this will protect the liver, it protects the nerves, and it, it protects just about every cell in the body. And then the really big one, of course, is that when we activate the body's stem cells, it's good for just about everything, you know, without getting into some disease claims and others. So, um, yeah, X39 by far is our most powerful product, and it's really good for the, the health of the entire body. Well, I'll tell you for sure, we all have benefited from X39. <laughs> In many, many, many ways. And uh, David, it's been an honor and my pleasure to be interviewing on my part. 
I'm going to pass it on to my partner and Marcy. She'll take over. And thank you for all those incredible uh, answers, as I think everybody saw the value and heard it straight from you today. So, Marcy, thank you, I'm going to pass it been a pleasure. On thank you. My question to you are, is, um, what are some of your other favorite patches that you've created and why? You know, I would say the energy patch, of course, since it was the very first patch, is always going to have a special place for me because it, what's, it's what really kicked off everything. But if I would have to say what's my second favorite patch after X39, I'd probably have to say it's Eon. And Eon is, has a really incredible story of which I can only tell a part uh, because I wouldn't want people to make claims about it that we don't authorize. But long story short, uh, I was at Suzanne Summers' house and I was having dinner there with a group of uh, scientists. This is what I like to do for fun. I hang out with old scientists and <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty boring socially. So, uh, but I met a scientist there uh, that I had wanted to meet for uh, quite some time. He's, he's very well known. He had been doing research into natural types of cancer therapy and actually molecules that the body uh, produces in an attempt to fight and suppress cancer cells. And he is also very, very interested in longevity. So he did this experiment and he wanted to know, and this is really the way science works as we ask questions about the natural environment. And he was seeing that the queen bee was living 50 to 60 times longer than the worker bee. So the question is, why is that? Genetically, they're uh, nearly identical. So what's the difference? And he found that it was the food and that the queen bee is, is the one that's consuming the royal jelly. And in the royal jelly, there is a specific peptide that regulates inflammation and allows the queen bee to live so much longer. So he isolated this peptide. Uh, he injected it into a worker bee and just one injection of this peptide allowed the worker bee to live five to six times longer than normal. So now he said, okay, well, can we apply this to human beings? And remarkably, he found the same chemical exists in human beings. So we say, well, why don't human beings, you know, live, you know, a couple hundred years? And interestingly, the reason is because uh, this peptide is produced in the liver and it begins to decline at about age 30. So we lose the advantage of this. So I began to look at finding, well, if this is already a peptide that exists in the human body, maybe we could uh, find a way to turn it back on and that's what the Eon patch became. So the Eon patch elevates this peptide. And what we found, we did about nine clinical studies on it. And what we found in our testing is that it is a broad spectrum anti-inflammatory. Uh, it will reduce uh, inflammatory cytokines, C-reactive proteins, homocysteine, lipid peroxides, fibrinogen. So that was it. that's one of its main benefits. Uh, we did a, another clinical study with Dr. Tom Budzinski and Dr. Budzinski and his wife, uh, Helen Budzinski, another PhD, uh, they found out that within seconds of applying the Eon patch to the body that it would bring the autonomic nervous system into balance. And this is why when people wear the Eon patch, first it reduces the stress on the nervous system and then it begins to elevate antioxidants and reduce inflammation. So Eon Patch, um, for many years, not surprisingly, was a top-selling product. And I love it because it, not only do people get the daily benefits of the uh, product, but there are some very, very serious longe uh, longevity benefits to using Eon as well. Wow. So just so you know, this is it, you guys. <laughs> we might all want to get that one. Yep. And, of course, this is what he was talking about. The energy patch was the beginning. And then, of course, the powerful X39. <laughs> David, is there one other one that you want to talk about? Do you have a, one other one? There is, actually. Uh, carnosine, to me, is one of the most underrated patches we have and underrated nutrients. And uh, I began looking at carnosine 
uh, back in 2005, 2006, before it ever started gaining attention as a nutrient that can improve sports performance. And today, uh, its precursor, beta alanine, is relatively common. Now, you can get this now at GNC and those type of things. Uh, but back in the day, one of the uh, benefits of carnosine was that it was increasing lifespan in animal testing, like in mice and rats, by 30 to 40 percent. And back then, nobody knew exactly why, but today, now we know, is that carnosine has the remarkable ability to protect the telomeres from shortening. So long story short, telomeres control the number of times the cells will divide, and we elevate carnosine, and it slows down that process. So if it translates the same way you know, as human beings here, just by on a daily basis elevating carnosine, we can potentially increase our lifespan 30 to 40 percent. But it actually is much, much better than that. And the reason is that uh, we began looking at, okay, well, uh, increasing you know, the lifespan up to 130, 140 years might be too much for people to wrap their arms around. What benefits can we get today? Well, carnosine is stored in the brain, the heart, and the muscle. And so uh, we worked with a pharmacologist, uh, Dr. Lisa Tully, and she did a study and found that after a month of using carnosine, people were getting very significant improvements in their strength, their stamina, and overall measures of physical performance. Uh, we also did a study, uh, again, with Dr. Tom and Helen Budzinski, and we looked at the phenomena of age-related cognitive decline. And we found that we could take people over the age of 60 and actually restore their long-term and short-term memory, restore uh, their focus, and even the speed at which their brain was functioning was improving when we elevated carnosine. So carnosine to me is an amazing uh, simple nutrient that people can use to extend their lifespan, but most importantly, improve the quality of their life today. I did not know that. I'm putting that on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> today. I did, right. not, I did not know what we had our hands on. And I guess I just want to know, and then just one more. What's your fourth favorite? And then I won't ask anymore. <laughs> oh, brother, that's going to be tough. It would probably be a toss-up between glutathione and Olivita. But will you say why for both? Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned it before. Lifespan is intimately linked to our body's levels of glutathione. But one patch that I will not travel without is glutathione. Just a short story, I was down in Mexico at a leader event a few years ago, and uh, I cut my foot. I got in a new pair of sandals, I thought it would be, I'd, I'd get these new sandals so I could enjoy the beach. They ended up scraping the top of my foot, and I got an infection within the first day that I was there. And I happened to uh, surround the infection with uh, the glutathione patch. I used uh, three patches around the infection, and uh, within 24 hours, it was gone. So glutathione, that's just one example. Glutathione has saved my life in, a number of times. Now, the Alavita patch, uh, I've had, personally, I've had some amazing experiences with it, but it, it's designed to elevate the peptide epithalamine, and this is a, a peptide in the pineal gland that was discovered by a Russian scientist by the name of Kavinson. And what's remarkable about epithalamine is that it's been linked to telomere regeneration. He has spent his life looking at ways to reverse aging and extend lifespan. And uh, he has said that the, the secret behind this are in uh, neurohormone precursors that reside in the pineal gland. And he's isolated epithalamine as being one of the most important ones. When you want to look at how to solve problems in biology, you try to find something in nature that will give you a clue. And in longevity research, things like uh, lobsters uh, are looked at because they produce infinite amounts of telomerase. And actually, as lobsters age, they get stronger and their immune system gets better. The lobsters can live, uh, you know, 130, 150 years. It's actually their shells 
uh, kind of prevent them from living longer. Clams have been found to live up to 500 years old. So, you know, the basis for this then is scientists that are looking at long longevity and research, the telomeres play a really critical role in this, as does uh, oxidative stress. So if we say that Olivita is helping to lengthen the telomeres, which we don't claim, by the way, we, we aren't making that claim, but what we have found is that it reduces oxidative stress. And this is so critically important to our health and our longevity. So when you look at the cells in a lobster or a clam that's very, very old, they show no signs of biological stress. And that's what we find with Olivita is that it brings down uh, the levels of oxidative stress. David, what excites you most at this moment for your business? Well, for, for the business, uh, I would have to divide that between what's going on with the business and the products and the research. Uh, mm -hmm. If we just look at the business, I mean, it's, it's incredible. Our sales in 2019 were nearly triple of 2018. And uh, our sales this year are going to be somewhere between double to triple of where they were uh, last year. So the rate at which we're growing is absolutely phenomenal. And of course, that's all happening because of you guys. You know, we have great leaders, we have great members, and they're really driving the excitement behind this. So that to me is exciting. Uh, we're expanding globally. I can tell you that the executive team, we get requests weekly to be opening new countries. So right now we're opening Ghana, Nigeria, South Korea, the Philippines, uh, Malaysia, Thailand. Those are all on the list to be open this year. And next year uh, we're looking at opening South Korea and Vietnam. Uh, and we have, some, we have some plans to do that. In, in a country like Japan, uh, where we started last January, um, we had about $150,000 to $200,000 in sales uh, in January 2019 out of Japan. And uh, now we're up to $5 million a month in sales in Japan. And, you know, we continue to skyrocket and, and grow there. So on the, business, uh, on the business side, the rate of growth is absolutely incredible and, and it's exciting. Is uh, We've been incredibly blessed over the past year with the progress that we've made in the lab and we're turning out more products faster than we ever have before all in the field of regeneration we have one study uh, specifically I am super excited about I, I will tell you that uh, so there's a, a medical doctor that we work with who does independent studies and we had this new product in clinical research uh, for about six months and I was sitting in a meeting and the email came through and I opened it up and I looked at the results from the study and I had to stop what I was doing because it was like a lifetime of achievement in that one moment. It was like, okay, I've literally accomplished what I set out to do with my life with, with this, with, with this uh, one study. And so we, like you would do with any project, you want to duplicate the results. This was a, a pilot study that involved uh, 15 people. Uh, in a six-month study, you're always going to have dropouts. So one of, the, one of the people dropped out. So we had 13 out of 14 people uh, get results with this product that would today, today uh, be considered medically impossible. That's a product that's going to be in our future. Uh, the last, uh, we went and started the second clinical study on this uh, and we're just at the six month point now. And so we'll be wrapping up a one year study with this uh, by the end of this year. So we're super excited about that. I've also had some really great success at looking at very, very specific ways of targeting stem cells. So X39 is our broad sweeping product for activating stem cells in the product of, in the body. But, you know, you ask yourself the question, is there any way to maybe target stem cells more specifically? Like, could you target, what happens if you target stem cells to the brain? Or you target stem cells to the muscle tissue? Or, you know, something else? 
And uh, so I've been fairly successful at uh, finding ways to do that. I'm also going back and I'm looking at a product that I first prototyped in 2003, but the results at the time scared me a little bit and I wanted to go back and revisit it. Um, I had had a uh, wisdom tooth pulled and I created this uh, patch uh, based on a very specific uh, principle. And after about a month, I regrew half of the wisdom tooth that had been pulled. And it wasn't designed to do that specifically. It was designed to regenerate something else. But it was the way that it was doing it that kind of triggered this reaction. So anyway, long story short, we're having a lot of success now in finding very specific ways to use stem cells that are complementary to X39, but yet different than X39. So you could kind of see in the years to come, X39 will continue to be our flagship product, but someone will say, I'd like to regenerate this, or I'd like to have the stem cells kind of go over here. We're going to use this patch. Or I might like to, it, it's hard for me to say anymore without giving away, you know, the store. But it's all to say there's the, there are going to be more patch products. There are going to be other products that come in, and it's, they are going to be focused on newer and better ways to uh, regenerate the body. Healing has never been more valuable than it is today. We are faced with challenges today uh, that as a species we have never had to deal with before. So these are things like uh, genetically modified foods. Um, we have engineered foods, which is a, a whole other subject. Uh, we have all types of uh, pollutants that are around us. We have electrosmog, we have 5G. So all of these things are applying pressure to us biologically and we have to meet this challenge with new technology that's going to support the integrity of our health. So this is one of the many reasons why LifeWave is a great choice. Now if we just were to focus on X39, for sure 20 years from now stem cells uh, and stem cell therapy is going to be commonplace. But today, stem cell injections are extraordinarily expensive and they're not at the level of sophistication yet where they can really provide people with the type of healing that, uh, that they'd be looking for from this approach. But yet we have a way very inexpensively, very safely of activating the body's uh, natural systems by activating the stem cells and uh, helping to support overall healing. So there's not going to be any other place where people can find a better way and a, and a uh, less expensive way of taking advantage of stem cell technology than with our products. Why were we considered an essential business? Yeah, so we had to get a few different legal opinions on this, and I will tell you this wasn't cheap. This cost us about $100,000, but we uh, started a unpublicized study uh, which was performed at two different hospitals in the United States using our products as a prophylactic and treatment for COVID-19. So we were able to legitimately say, hey, we are providing our products to healthcare workers to support them during COVID-19, which was absolutely true. And uh, that was one of the, our levers for allowing us to stay open but it was very expensive for us to go that route, but obviously worth it. And then the other thing is because we were providing products uh, that supported the overall health of people, uh, that was another reason why we were allowed to stay open. So again, we were really fortunate uh, that we were in that uh, position.